everyone, it is Brandon Marshall, your Banish Warrior here on the Acme channel. Let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a little something different um, that you might have not seen on this channel very frequently. I just kind of wanted to showcase you guys kind of my like natural makeup routine. I do not wear makeup every day. I actually started my YouTube channel the whole way that I started being an influencer and being more present online is when I was going through my harshest time of acne. I did start wearing makeup and this was years ago, probably about seven years ago. I'm not saying it was no guys were wearing makeup because they definitely were. I just feel like it's more accepted now with all the male beauty gurus. And it's honestly really nice seeing all these guys that like coming out wearing makeup and everything. And this can definitely be followed by a girl too. It, it, your gender does not matter. This is just kind of like an everyday look that I like to do. Like I said, I don't wear it every day, but if I'm like go out or something and I just want like a little more even skin tone and feel a little more confident or whatever, I this is kind of my go-to thing. One of the things that I love about Banish is that they are vegan and they are cruelty-free and not tested on animals. And I recently have tried to go towards a cruelty-free skincare and um, makeup product. So all of the products that I'm gonna be using are fairly on the cheap side and they're really good. Um, a lot of drugstore things, if not all drugstore, I'll have to remember, I'm pretty sure they're all drugstore. But yes, they were all cruelty-free, which is really great. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I used to actually wear makeup almost every single day. I discovered makeup in my senior year of high school and I was actually really self-conscious about it just because if people were to find out, they would maybe judge me or whatever. And that's when I was really, really self-conscious. Um, and I'm, I mean, I'm still self-conscious, but I feel like I've gained this like more confidence as time has went on. And I'm like, you know what? I wear makeup, it doesn't matter. Makeup doesn't have a gender. I don't care. I'm gonna do me. Like period, point blank. So I'm also gonna be incorporating a couple of banished products that I used before makeup that make my makeup like go on flawlessly. So this will be included in here too. And this is my little makeup pouch right here. Not that you guys care, but this, I got this from Urban Outfitters and the clearance for like $2 and I love it. Keeps all my stuff together. The first thing I do like to start off is, with is the Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. Super hydrating and nice to apply makeup over. So I just do a little base of that real quick just to give my skin a nice little moisturized base. And I rant and rave about this product all the time. This is the Vitamin C Cream. This stuff is seriously great as well. It just gives a nice hydrating base as well. Um, and I am using this in place of my moisturizer today, which I've been doing a lot. Um, but I just apply a very small amount. And it just, it seriously like gives you such a smooth base, but it's also fighting your hyperpigmentation and helping your skin under your makeup. So it's not like just layering a random primer or anything. I like products that are working. Like, that's why sometimes I like to use my topical medications under makeup because it's like, okay, like I'm still wearing a little bit of makeup, but I'm also fighting like any acne or anything, which makeup can sometimes cause acne. So it's a sad, sad truth. What I'm gonna be doing is kind of covering, I do have some red spots on my skin and I just like to, I have hyperpigmentation as well, which I have been using my banisher to kind of get my skin back in order. So I just kind of want to have like a more even base of my skin so nothing too crazy most of the time people can't even tell that I'm wearing makeup which is how I usually like what I usually like to do so I'm using the photo focus wet n wild concealer I don't go in with a lot of this I just like to kind of put it on any red spots that I may have I have one right there but this just makes it so you don't have to wear as much foundation that way you don't look as cakey a little bit of that on my red spots as you can see they're already like basically going away So this is not a full coverage kind of look. This is just gonna be a more natural look. So if you're looking for that full beat, this is not it, sis. And the foundation that I'm using that I actually just started using a couple weeks ago, but I'm kind of obsessed. Um, I was using a Maybelline, which they do test on animals, which is sad. So I am using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage matte foundation. We're not going for that full coverage look, so we just want a little bit of foundation. This is in the shade Vanilla, and it's a 24 hour wear. If I wore makeup for 24 hours, my skin would be really, really mad at me. I'm just going to use a very little amount of the foundation. And then my Morphe M439. And just kind of, this is really nice because there's just like a flat brush. You can use a sponge, you can use whatever you like. Um, I don't usually like using my fingers, especially if I have acne. You do not want to spread those germs. You're just kind of, even over that um, concealer, you just want to go up and down. Like, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not. I'm just giving you my tips. I could be doing this all wrong. 
So there, there is that with just a little pump of foundation. I do have a little bit left on my hand. I do have some hormonal scarring. So I also like to kind of go down um, and get some coverage on those as well. Completely optional, but you can definitely set with a powder. This is a matte foundation. I'm not gonna set it with a powder, but I do have a wet and wild powder that I have been using lately. And then next, this is kind of a random step, but I do like to use some type of Vaseline or some type of lip mask just to kind of give my lips that kind of shiny, but like hydrated look. Like I don't want to look all crusty and dry. Like show some moisture. And this Vaseline stuff is really good. This has lasted me for a long time. And then you can definitely stop there. I do like to bring a little bit of color back to my face. So I'm using this Makeup Revolution All About Bronzed Palette. Really cheap palette at Ulta. And I just like to use one of the lighter shades just to kind of give a little more bronze back to my face because I don't want to really want to look one dimensional, but I'm not trying to be carved. I'm just trying to be 2D, 3D. What, is, what, is, what are humans? Are they 2D? No, they're 4D or 3D, I think. Just gonna kind of bronze it. Seriously, just like kind of powdering all over, just to bring a little bit of color back. And to set the face that way it stays throughout the day, I do like to go back in with my vitamin C beauty elixir and just kind of mist that everywhere and let that dry. And that just kind of like brings everything together. You can like use these as multi-purpose kind of like, you can use them as primer, you can use them as setting spray. Like it's really nice that it kind of doubles as those as well. So. so that was just my kind of natural everyday go-to look for you guys. It was super, super simple, but I want to show you guys kind of my little routine and how you can kind of incorporate some of these products as well. It's super, super easy. And you're also helping your skin even while you're wearing makeup. So it's a win-win. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out all the other Banished Warriors on this channel. They're doing some amazing things and we have a lot of great stuff coming up for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.